Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. We had a one weekend break with no contests and I don't know about you, but I miss them and I'm so glad that we got to see some incredible shows. So here I am talking about the 2021 IFBB Pro League Sacramento Pro Bikini results and this was an incredible lineup. So in terms of Olympia, you guys know the drill. The winner qualifies for Olympia. This is a tier four contest, so you can see second through fifth receive the points I've highlighted there. At the end of the qualification period, it's the top three who all get to go to Olympia. So checking out that top five. In first place, Laura Lee. Second, Jessica. Third, Lucia. Fourth, Alessia. And fifth, Adrian. So here's Adrienne in fifth, who looks so good. The last time we saw her was when she got fifth at the Legion. So she is really doing incredible in this lineup of girls to be a top five is unbelievable. I love her shoulders. I think she's got beautiful lats and great obliques. Her hourglass shape is really gorgeous. Her glutes have a fabulous shape and she's got really nice definition. I love that you have a little bit of abs showing in the front. You've got the line running down the leg as well as that little bit of a detail by the knee. She's got beautiful definition in the back leg as well and her calf. And I actually particularly love where she's got her hand position near her belly button. I think she's created a really beautiful shape. It really highlights that hourglass. And overall, she just looks tremendous. Beautiful hair, beautiful makeup. The red suit is very flattering. I think she's doing amazing. Okay, next and fourth is Alessia. As soon as you see her name on the scorecard, you know she's going to be doing well. She always does well. We've seen her in this qualification so far, getting a fourth at the Minneapolis, a third at the Legion, another fourth place for her, so she's earning those points, and she looks beautiful as ever. Great definition in her leg. That line is just tremendous. You see it so well in the stage photo of the comparison as well. The lineup, she stands out beautiful glutes, really nice lats. She's got this tiny little pinched in waist and then the lats are so developed and a gorgeous rounded delt. So I think she has such a beautiful shape, great posing. I do feel like she's lacking a little tiny bit in the ab definition. Even at the other two shows, Minneapolis in particular, you could see those lines outlining the six pack a little bit better than you could here. That's the only thing I can say in comparison because I think she looks tremendous. Her hamstrings, her hair looks lovely, that beautiful blue suit. Like, she's just amazing. Okay, next in third place is Lucia, who is so stunningly beautiful. I saw an Instagram photo before I had seen the results of this show and I gasped out loud she looks so good her hair is different it's new it's so beautiful she started off really dark and then she went to like a strawberry blonde and now she's got this beautiful natural very white goldy blonde and it is so gorgeous great curls great length I love it such a flattering shade for her and now her physique looks amazing as well fabulous definition you're seeing abs you're seeing super chiseled obliques her legs look beautiful her legs look substantial but you still have some nice detail like even in this back leg you're seeing some detail here nice little lump on the top of her quad her calves look amazing um, her arms look fabulous the hourglass is just beautiful one thing that I have noticed though is this back shoulder doesn't look as rounded as the front shoulder and it's not that they're unbalanced. I think it's the way that she's posing and in comparison to the other girls, they leave their shoulder pointing more towards the back of the stage whereas Lucia is bringing it more forward. So I wonder if that's something that she could play with. Tell me if you agree with me in the comments. You'll see what I'm talking about in the lineup. But overall, I cannot get over this gorgeous new hairstyle. I think she looks absolutely amazing, and I love that she's got a third place. Okay, next is Jessica, who also has given us a brand new hairstyle to admire. The curls are gorgeous. So much texture and so much interest. It, it's just gorgeous. Beautiful color as well. 
Um, of course, the color of her suit, I have to mention, is amazing. I love it. Um, now, her physique is fabulous. Her shoulders look tremendous. Beautiful size, beautiful shape. A nice amount of definition of the delt without being too much. Her biceps look incredible. Her lats are amazing. Then her waist is really small. She's got beautiful obliques. The abs are not super showy, but they're very flat, extremely small waist. And then I'm noticing all kinds of lines in her legs. She's got the line coming this way, outlining the side of her glute. She's got the lines coming this way, outlining her quads, as well as the teardrop in the front. And then her hamstrings look amazing. Like, she's just so good. She's got such a beautiful shape. I think she looked amazing. And now in first place, no big surprise here, Laura Lee, who we last saw get second at the Olympia. She looks beautiful. She always looks so calm and confident and natural. Like she just is standing there for us to admire her beautiful physique. Like she's just so cool. But I do have to say that even compared to Olympia, she looks really full. Like this shoulder, her delt looks even more rounded. I think her legs look even more round as well, right? She's got this really big lump of muscle on her quad, beautiful size to her hamstrings. She just looks really super full and pumped up, and I love it. I think she looks tremendous. She's got beautiful posing, really nice hourglass shape. Her obliques are so tight. Her waist is so small. The makeup is absolutely gorgeous. She is so beautiful just gorgeous but in particular Laura Lee looks really good from behind in the comparison so here's everybody side by side um it's surprising how tall both Laura Lee and Alessia are they they really do stand out just for their sheer size they have a lot more um muscle on their frame they're taller they're they've got very broad shoulders I think the other girls look petite in comparison which is so cool I love seeing everybody side by side uh, maybe you can see what I'm seeing, what I said about Lucia having her torso a little bit more to the front, whereas some of the others are um, have their shoulders more towards the back of the stage. But certainly it does not look bad, and everybody knows how to pose to highlight their strengths. Um, I definitely noticed Jessica's tiny waist. Her hourglass looks tremendous. Um, Alessia's beautiful definition in her leg really stands out to me. And then Loralee, of course, those shoulders... The beautiful hourglass shape. Her waist is so low before her hip comes out to the glute. And it's just amazing. Like you compare Laura Lee's lats. They come all the way down here and then right back out. With Alessia right next to her whose lats come in a lot higher. Closer to the strap of her bikini. And then they come out. So she just has a beautiful shape. A fabulous silhouette. Adrienne I think has gorgeous abs. Really nice definition. Like this was a beautiful top five. But now from behind, Laura Lee, for sure. She's got the most amazing glute ham tie-ins and gorgeous definition to her hamstrings. Really nice balance with her calves. And then her shoulders are so beautifully popping out on either side of her hair. So you have this fabulous hourglass shape. Those glutes are so beautifully developed. And just the definition is amazing. Now, everybody in this lineup has some fabulous glute ham tie-ins. But Laura Lee, in addition to the tie-ins, had the gorgeous size and definition to her hamstrings. And then she's got the nice quad sweep. Just fantastic. I notice in this picture also Jessica keeps her feet a lot more narrow and not turned out than the other girls. And I wonder if that is a strategic thing so that her quads don't look too large. She does have some beautiful quad sweeps. But perhaps maybe she could try standing a little bit more wide with her toes turned out to the corner. Maybe that would, um, you know, highlight the glute ham tie-ins more. Uh, I don't even know. It's so good. These girls are just incredible. So in terms of Olympia 2022, Laura Lee was already qualified. Jessica now has four points, Lucia has three, Alessia has nine, and Adrian has four. So there was one more contest this weekend that I will be recapping as soon as I can get my hands on some stage photos, the EVLS Prague Pro. And then we have a busy weekend coming up. The Iron Games, the Japan Pro, the Texas State Pro, the New Zealand Pro, and the big one, the Romania Muscle Fest Pro. So make sure you subscribe. I will be re back with recaps of all those videos as soon as I can. And you don't want to miss those notifications. 
Give me a like if you like this video. Comment below what you think about this top five and what you're most excited for for next weekend. You can find me at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.